weird looking sheep behind me. We also got Bessie, as you guys know, these weird peacock things, and then the wolf pack over there. So you guys know, it's gonna be a flipping awesome video. Hey guys, in all seriousness, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today, by the title and thumbnail and everything about this video, you already know that we're going to be blowing up giant bombs in Minecraft. You guys seem to really enjoy that, and I mean, I like blowing stuff up too. So we're just gonna get right into it today. But obviously, guys, first things first, we have to give the comment of the day some love. So let's go check out this comment, which comes from Stevanis Tanaka. Sorry if I said your name wrong, by the way, but they wanna see me do the Spiral Lucky Blocks mod. Now, for those of you guys that didn't know, uh, me and my buddy, the side route, actually have a Lucky Block series going on where we try out all the different strange, awesome Lucky Blocks, and then we open them for a couple minutes, and then we fight each other to the death, and it is amazing. So, yeah, guys, if you do want to see that, please feel free to go leave a like on today's video. What, what is this bird doing? I thought it's going to land on my head. But, yeah, guys, also, if you want to be featured as the comment of the day, just leave a like on today's video, subscribe, and then turn on notifications, and then also, while you're doing all that, comment any mod you want to see down below. Also, guys, if this video gets more than 1,000 likes, I will blow up something else in Minecraft using the same nukes that I really always use. They're super OP, and uh, they blow up pretty much everything. So, guys, if you want to see me try and blow up uh, some sort of, like, map or uh, maybe even a biome in Minecraft, I could definitely do that. I've already blown up the end dimension, so that's why today I thought I would try blowing up the nether. Now, as you guys know, the nether is uh, infinite, so I can't blow up the entire thing. Like, I blew up, you know, the entire end dimension. So, yeah, we're gonna be blowing up a decent portion of it. I'm gonna try and see if I can just make it. So, you know, I blast through the bedrock layer on the top and the bottom, and then we can see what it looks like. So, yeah, guys, I am super excited for today's video. We have the infinity suit on, just so that I will not die, or I will hopefully not die. I kind of forget, to be honest, if this kills me or not. I don't think it does, but we will definitely find out very, very very soon but let's go grab all these nuclear bombs that we're gonna be using today we have the most powerful bomb in the world the SAR bomb and then we have a special bomb the prototype but obviously those are gonna be for the end we have to build up two of those bombs we have to see if maybe fat man could do it little boy might be able to blast through I'm not entirely sure yet but that's why we are flipping testing it out now I'm not gonna bring the wolf back and Bessie obviously has to stay here mr. sheep do you want to come with me to get blown up no? Okay. All right, I guess I'm doing this solo. So let's go over here and uh, build ourselves a nice nether portal. Bam! Okay, this is a little bit difficult. I completely forgot that I could fly too. All right, there we go. Whoops, still difficult. All right, bam! Just like that. Okay, yes. They don't even know what's about to come to the nether. All right, don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. I don't even plan on coming back. All right, here we go. Bam! Go through. And guys, this is gonna be amazing. All right, guys, here we go. We made it. Now, there are a ton of modded stuff in here. Look at this. We got zombie pigment soldiers. What the flip? I'm not even supposed to be able to take any hits. Okay, I'm going to head this way because that was scary. But yeah, that is our portal over there. So I thought that we should probably blow up the first one kind of close to here. I also, what the flip? This dude's shooting like rockets at me. All right, I should probably blow this thing up pretty dang fast. So it looks like, yeah, here is the bottom layer. Oh gosh, we have a lot of ore spawn stuff. So many different mods that I have on. Okay, let's just blow stuff up. All right, let's see, where is my portal? I wanna just blow up my portal just to see if it can destroy it. All right, please, nothing, try and kill me. Come on, guys, I just wanna blow things up. All right, let's see, let's do, whoa, dude. Are you flipping kidding me, bro? Bro, I'm gonna punch you. Okay, I forgot. That's probably not my bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Ah! Okay, guys, so I guess today I will be in game mode one <laughs> because apparently they don't want me to blow them up. As crazy as that sounds. But anyway, guys, here we flip and go. So I don't need these just yet. I am going to be starting off with the multi-purpose bomb kit. All right, boys, there we go. Let's throw down, uh, dude, stop it. You are at one scary looking dude. All right, let's throw down the first bomb. There we go. We're going to start off very, very tiny, and then we're just going to keep working our way up. So this one, let's just make it all TNT, throw the gunpowder in there, and then I think it is good to go. Now, I just need a detonator. All right, there we go, boys. I should just be able to shift, right-click on that. Position is set, and then three, two, one, bam. Okay, there we go. 
didn't even kill anything. What the flip? Okay, looks like it may have killed the cyber demon, which, okay, never mind. Didn't kill him. It just literally did one flipping damage. All right, so this bomb is, uh, yeah, obviously not the best bomb. It's basically equivalent to, like, four TNTs. I'm not even going to try the other bombs because I know that they're not going to do any damage. I mean, let's be real. We got to move on to the big stuff. All right, let's see. Next up, I have Ivy Mike. So let's see what this guy looks like. All right, let's put this down. I think it'll fit right here. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but let's just do it. Hey, why not? All right, let's put in the bundles of propellant. I'm actually kind of scared. I do not remember this one being so big. I kind of wanted to do little boy next, but hey, let's just test this out and see if it will blow up stuff. So it looks like the deuterium goes there. Uh, we have the cooling kit, and then we also have, oh, uranium. Great, that's definitely what I want. All right, boys, I think that is everything that we need. And then uh, now just to detonate it, okay? Bam, there we go. I'm going to go over here. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Mr. Cyber Demon. Good luck, Zombie Pigman, Soldier, guys. Three, two, one. Yo, that is definitely a nuclear flipping bomb. Okay, all right, everything looks okay. Whoa, my, what the heck? Whoa, okay, is my portal? No, nope, portal is gone, guys. All right, how low did that go? All right, doesn't look like it blew up all the way to the bottom. Ha <laughs> ha, the Kyubis are taking lots of damage. Okay, everything is currently dying. Holy crap, it's just a giant box. Oh my, wait, did it blow through the ceiling? That's really all I wanna know. No, it did not actually break through the bedrock ceiling, but it's doing a decent amount of damage. Look at this, holy crap, my game can't even load fast enough. All right, let's hop down to the bottom. Whoa, this is nuts. Holy crap. Now, everything, I'm assuming, is probably dead now. Oh, my goodness. This is just a huge chunk missing. Oh, gosh, it blew up the lava, too. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Is this gone? Okay, this is not gone, I guess. What? Where is the edge of this thing? All right, there we go. It just keeps going and going. My game is lagging so much. Holy crap. It looks like, yep, those guys are going to die very, very shortly. Oh, my goodness. This thing is just not stopping. I kind of forgot that this bomb was so powerful. I kind of wanted to wait, but uh, yeah, my game is lagging way too much. Holy crap. This is just absolutely gnarly. Oh my goodness, look at that. You can see the outlines of the bomb. Oh gosh, still lagging. I'm still lagging, guys. All right, guys, so quick update. It is still exploding. It's been probably around five to 10 minutes. Uh, I probably, thinking back on it, uh, should have done a different bomb and not this super overpowered bomb. I really need to learn my nuclear bombs because I use them way too much to not know what they actually do. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So it looks like it blew up everything or it's just not loading in. I can't really tell right now, but it looks really cool with just the bedrock ceiling and I'm just in red. That's literally all I can see right now. But I will give you guys an update when it is done which might take another like 12 hours. All right, guys, it finally stopped exploding after 12 flipping hours. It was absolutely just crazy how long that went. I had no idea it was gonna be that long, but this is what I got for you guys. Uh, it's not really loading in as expected. I think that my game may have broken a little bit from that big giant nuke, uh, but yeah, this is what I can get. So it looks like the center of it was right around here, I want to say. And then you can kind of see it completely destroyed everything above it. Look at that. It literally just goes straight up to the bedrock ceiling or wall or whatever the heck you want to call that. It looks pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, let's go ahead around and see. Again, yeah, this is like the edge of it. So it's just a giant circle from around here. And yeah, my world, it just doesn't know what to do. There's so much lava flowing in different directions. There's just so much gone from it that it, my, my game is probably gonna crash very, very soon. But we have to power through it, guys. We have to explode another nuke. So let's go to around the same area, but this time, let's get a little lower. Let's see if we can find the bottom of the nether and see what that looks like. So let's head down here. Let's create a little area. What the heck? Are there caves down here? Okay, cool. I will use this cave to my advantage. All right, let's see. Next up, let's try out Little Boy. All right, Little Boy, please don't take as long to explode as the whatever the heck I just blew up. But here we go. This is a smaller bomb, I hope anyway. I'm pretty sure it's smaller. All right, let's see. We have the projectile. We have the target. I don't know what any of this is. We got the propellant. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously the, the neutron shielding. We're gonna need that. 
and I think that's actually everything. Okay, cool. I'm gonna stand right down here. Let's flip and do it. All right, here we go. Let's uh, get that. Three, two, one, detonate! Oh my goodness, okay? So far, so good. It looks like, oh, whoa, okay. There we go, oh my goodness, yep, there's the nuke. All right, so the same with this one. It doesn't look like it went all the way down to the bottom, but oh my goodness, it is taking out more and more of the nether. I mean, if you wanted to clear out the nether and just almost make it like a flat world, you definitely use these nukes because they're doing a nice job of just flattening out this entire chunk of the nether. Okay, let's just keep running around. At least my game isn't lagging because the other one completely broke my game. I do not know why. Normally, they work pretty well with the game, but for some reason, the other one almost crashed my game like five different times. All right, here we go. That's still the center. Yep, definitely still blowing up the walls. They're getting pushed back time and time. Uh, but I want to find the bottom of this. So I guess I'll blow up Fat Man. I'll go all the way down to the bottom and then ignite Fat Man. And then after we do that, guys, we will use the SAR Bomb, which is the most powerful nuclear bomb in flipping history. So we'll test that out. And then last but not least, when all that is done, if my game isn't crashed and there's still stuff to blow up, we will do the prototype, which should be able to bust through the bedrock uh, little ceiling up there. And then we will actually have just a giant chunk of the nether missing. Holy crap. It's like a lava wave tsunami. Oh my goodness. All right, so yeah, that one, not nearly as powerful. So we should be able to load in the entire explosion. If I just go around here, bam, still kind of glitching out my game a little bit, but I mean, it's a flipping nuke. You kind of have to expect it to break your game just a little bit, but dang, holy crap. This actually looks awesome. I did not think it would look this cool, especially in the nether, but I mean, it looks so cool with the lava coming in. Like, look at that. That is a giant lava tsunami wave over here that looks like it's just coming after me. All right, there we go. Okay, my game is just a tad bit broken, but I think we are ready for the next nuke. So let's blow up Fat Man at the bottom. All right, where's the bottom? Let's see. Okay, well, oh, the bottom is right here. We were so flipping close. All right, let's get rid of some of this bedrock here. All right, this should be enough space for Fat Man. I'm not really sure how long it is, but we'll find out in just a second here. All right, there we go. Let's plop him right there. Holy crap. Yes, this is probably my favorite looking missile out of all of them, either this or the prototype. But there we go. Let's put in the plutonium core and the bomb igniter, and then bam, we are good to go. All right, let's get that there. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one. Detonate! Oh my goodness, guys. Here we flip and go. All right, let's see. Wow, I can't see anything, actually. All right, bam. We got the nuclear bomb missile thing coming up, the uh, the mushroom cloud. All right, cool. Well, definitely took out almost everything. Whoa, holy crap. Yep. So it's pushing everything except the bedrock. It's just destroying it and pushing it all back. That is so cool. Oh, this is going to look awesome because, look, the sky is just filled with this same bedrock and then we'll eventually be able to break through it. Now, I'm not sure if the SAR bomb can break through bedrock. We're definitely gonna try it though, but I'm 99% sure that the prototype should be able to blow up the bedrock, and then we'll just have nothing when we blow that up. So yeah, let's just see, how long does this one go? I know it's a little bit more powerful than Little Boy, but yeah, Fat Man shouldn't do too much damage. Not as much as the, the second missile that we blew up or the second nuclear bomb, that one, was a little bit too crazy for me guys this looks so cool oh i don't know what's happening over there but it looks so cool over here because we just have lava falling and just glitching out look how crazy this is look at that it's just, i mean it's trying to fall but then it just keeps getting exploded and destroyed and i'm pretty sure once this is all done we'll have an even bigger tsunami wall of lava yes holy crap that is going to look amazing Guys, we have a brand new lava wall tsunami thingy. I'm still not really sure what I want to call it, but yeah, it is awesome. Look at that. I mean, stuff's having a very hard time loading in because all the lava is lagging my game out like crazy, but it still looks so flipping cool. Look at that. Look at all this lava. I mean, normally it would be water, but since we're in the nether, everything just looks so much cooler with that giant lava wall. 
But guys, I believe it is about the time where I'm gonna be blowing up the SAR bomb, which is apparently, as you guys tell me, the most powerful bomb in history. So let's test this bad boy out. My world is still very much glitchy, but I do not think I'll be able to fix that. So let's do it, guys. We have the SAR bomb right flipping there. Holy crap, this thing is a monster. All right, let's throw everything in there. Bang, just like that. We got the plutonium in there, and then we got the SAR bomb core, and then I think we're pretty much good to go. Here we go, boys. All right, let's uh, use our detonator. Holy crap. All right, I don't know if it's gonna blow up the bedrock, but let's test it out. Three, two, one, boom. What? Target incompatible? What the flip? All right, let's try this again. I think I got it to work, and then bam. Oh, yes, I definitely got it to work. What the? But there's no explosion. What is it blowing up? I, what the heck? I don't know what's happening. Um, hello? Is there explosions happening? What the flip is this? This lava looks so weird. What the heck? All right, but where's uh, the bomb? I'm looking for a bomb. Has anyone seen it? I kind of just exploded it like two seconds ago. All right, so it looks like it is working because it's pushing back the giant lava tsunami and it's just exploding more and more. So I don't know if it, now. I don't think it is able to actually blow up the bedrock. The next bomb should be able to though, but this will just make the crater in the nether so much flipping bigger. Guys, I just accidentally forgot to get myself night vision and it looks very, very scary. Look at that. I mean, the only light that I'm getting is from this, uh, these weird lava glitches. I don't know why they're still here, but yeah, it looks so scary when you don't have anything because look, it's like a black void is out there. I mean, it's not like bright red, which might be a little bit scary, but let's turn back on the night vision. Come on. Oh gosh, my game is lagging. That didn't even register. Holy crap. Okay, please somebody give me night vision. Where is that getting sucked into? Okay, bam, there we go. Holy crap, look at that. It's just getting pushed flipping away. That is crazy. All right, come on. Can I just get a little bit more? Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. All right, sounds like it's stopping. Oh my goodness. Do you guys hear that lava? There is lava everywhere. Holy crap. Oh, no, it's actually not. Okay, it's not even close to being done. So, ladies and gentlemen, it has been probably i want to say 14 hours and this thing still has not stopped all right well it hasn't actually been 13 hours or 14 hours it's been probably like 20 minutes but still that is crazy for a bomb to just keep going off for 20 minutes it's been like almost two minecraft days and this thing still is not done and i can't find the edge anymore it is literally all just got turned into bedrock it is insane but i mean it's still going off but I'm not gonna let that stop me, guys. I wanna do the last bomb, but uh, I kinda wanna stop lagging first. All right, there we go. Let's do the last bomb, the prototype, and let's just get rid of everything in the nether. I still don't even know if there's anything left. I could, I actually could not find the edge. All right, here we go. Let's do the prototype right here. Holy crap, I'm still lagging from the other bomb too. That is crazy. All right, so we have scribidium on the sides, just like that. We have uranium, we have lead, so I think the lead goes right there, just like that. And then we have the neptunium, which goes in the middle. And then on the edges, we have uranium. Holy crap, that is a lot of flipping chemicals. But yeah, I think we should be good to go. Should be able to light off with this detonator. Holy crap, I am still flipping lagging. But guys, let's just do it. Let's blow up the bedrock in three, two, one, please don't crash. No, oh my goodness. No, it didn't break through the bottom. The bottom is unbreakable. Holy crap, I thought that might happen, but I wasn't sure. So if you guys didn't actually know, the bottom layer of bedrock is like programmed to never be broken unless you're in creative mode. I could punch a hole in it, but by any sort of explosion, it's just programmed not to actually get destroyed. But the layers on top can get destroyed. It's kind of weird. But I guess it's not possible to blow through the bottom of the bedrock layer. This does look really dang cool though. And for some reason, my game stopped lagging as soon as I exploded that bomb. I thought it would lag so much more and I thought it would actually crash my game. But hey, I will indeed take it. Wow, look at that. This is just making an actual flat world of just bedrock. What the heck? Guys, this bedrock looks strange. Okay, yeah, it's probably just a lighting glitch. But wait a minute, hold on. Did that destroy it? No, there's no way. Holy crap. Okay, let's go to the edge. Let's see if it's breaking it. Okay, let's go up and up and up. All right, there we go. Now, it doesn't look like it reached. Yes, it actually did. Holy crap. That is crazy. Okay, wait, I'm losing night vision. 
Nope, nope, can't lose night vision or else I won't be able to see anything. But look at that. It blew, oh my goodness. That is flipping awesome. It blew a giant hole in the top layer of the bedrock ceiling. Wow, this looks awesome. Holy crap. And then I guess it stopped having a momentum and then it stopped blowing it up, but wow. This looks cool, you guys gotta admit. So yeah guys, this is what happens when you blow up nuclear bombs in the nether dimension. I'm just gonna drop down through the giant hole in the ceiling. Oh my goodness. I don't even know, like is there an edge to this? I just wanna explore for like a minute or two before I end off this video. So it looks like the powerful uh, prototype bomb. It looks like it kind of ended right here. I know it's not the biggest bomb, but I mean, I'm sure the bedrock probably slowed the explosion down just a tad bit. But yeah, I don't even know where the edge of this thing is. I mean, I know where the edge of the prototype is, but the actual edge, you know, where the real nether is, because this is not the nether anymore. It is just bedrock and like weird glitched out lava. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Whoop, there it is. Wait, is this that the edge? No, that's not even the flippin' edge. There's just a wall of lava. Oh my goodness. My game is just glitched the heck out. All right, let's keep going. This has to be like, what, 200 blocks from the start? And then this is it, guys. This is the edge. This has to be, wait, I can't even get it in my render distance. I'm on the max render distance, and I still can't even fit it all in. That has to be like 500 blocks, I want to say, probably around there. But yeah, guys, anyway, I think I'm going to end off the video here because my game is just going to keep exploding and exploding, and I'm not really sure when the explosions are going to flip and stop or if my game's ever going to, like, load every everything in i highly doubt it though but anyway guys nonetheless i do hope that you enjoyed remember guys to leave a like down below let's aim for 1000 likes if you want to see me blow up something else maybe a map maybe a biome or something like that just leave some suggestions in the comment section down below but yeah guys that is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed my name is Beckbro jack and i will see you guys all back again here tomorrow peace out dudes